Hey, hello, everybody. Um, I know what you guys are probably already thinking. Wow, Scarecrow sounds different. What happened? Well, my PC decided to die on me. It uh, seems my power supply has just given up on life and just quit. So I had to buy a brand new power supply. And well, while I'm waiting for it, I have to use my backup laptop to record and to stream. But I don't think I've got the proper audio drivers and I really don't know what to do. I, I, I have no clue. But because of the fact that I'm not able to get everything sounding the way that I want, there'll be slightly less content the next couple days until I get that power supply. But I do have some footage from earlier today, so I figured I would at least uh, put that up for you guys. But it was a very interesting situation, kind of a uh, deja vu type of situation, where I had two diamonds show up, and it was very similar to two diamonds that we saw a couple days ago. In the same area virtually, we ended up getting a gray lag and a tufted almost side by side, except this time we spotted the gray lag first, and then the tufted was off in the distance. But out of my 3500 hours playing Call of the Wild, that has never happened to me. I have never had two diamonds of different species be in the same spot two days apart. It blew my mind, and I really didn't know what to think. And also, because of the fact that my PC uh, died and I'm now on the laptop, I had to use a backup of my save, so anything that I do in the next couple days, unfortunately, will not be carried over to my main save because I had to use my backup files. So, yeah, we're kind of stuck uh, a couple days back before what we would have been. So I probably won't be doing any diamond hunting or anything. I might focus on doing some guides or something the next couple days, although I don't want to torture you guys with this terrible audio. But let me know in the comments if you want me to continue doing some streams at least, even if the microphone doesn't sound great. Uh, let me know. But anyway, let's get into the clips. So I was walking around Rev on Thule Coast, picking up a couple of the tents that I wanted to move out of the areas that I had initially put them in, and I ended up spotting a level 5 gray lag goose wherever it may have uh, gone. Uh, I guess it's uh, I guess it's hiding in the brush now, but we do have a level 5 gray lag goose over here. And I ended up spotting it when I was collecting this outpost over here, so yeah, that was kind of interesting. I was just collecting the outpost and I spotted it getting ready to land at our decoys, so I think it's time we go stock up on it and see if we can get it down. Well, there it is. We have finally got a uh, spotting on it. It is quite a ways away still, so we will have to stock up quite a bit closer. But that is going to be the second level 5 Grey Lag Goose we have found during this early access period of Rev on Thule Coast. Now, hopefully we can get this thing down in one go and not have to uh, have it come back after getting spooked, which has happened to us in the past. So let's just hope for a smooth experience here and hoping that we can get it down super quick. Oh wow, they are actually on land it looks like now, so uh, we can probably take this thing out with the 22 Hornet if we are uh, a good enough shot here. And I think we should be able to hit it pretty easily. Now the question is, which one is it? Because, uh, there we go. I was gonna say, it's kind of difficult to tell sometimes when they are uh, this bunched up. And it is now levitating. We just hit the wrong one, I think. Yes, we did. You know, maybe we can still save this. Um, I can't believe we hit the wrong one. That is truly unfortunate. But I suppose it happens. That's what we get for shooting into a big group of them like that. Man, that really is quite unfortunate. It's uh, sad to see us hitting the incorrect goose. Especially when I was hoping for that to be a very quick encounter and instead we've got to wait for them to come back down. It's uh, very unfortunate, but I suppose that's uh, what we get for taking a little bit of a longer shot there. Probably should have just tried to get up close and take it with the shotgun. But uh, it is what it is. We will wait for it to come back and then hopefully we can get it down. Oh my gosh. Is this, is this going to be... This is literally a repeat of the... F oh my, wow. Well, that's the last thing I expected to find. There is another level 3 tufted duck. Virtually in the exact same spot that I found it last time, next to a gray lag goose in the same area that I found that last time. You honestly can't even write this. This is insane. I've never had a situation like that before where I have two diamonds that are the same species in virtually the same areas. This is officially a first for me. 
And after all the time that I played Call of the Wild with it being over 3,000 hours, or actually over 3,500 hours at this point, and having done YouTube for two years, it's kind of crazy that this is the first time this has ever happened. Like right now, I am just genuinely curious what the odds of having this happen are. This Tufted Duck is in virtually the same spot as our last level 3, and this Grey Lag Goose is in virtually the same spot as the last one that we found as well. And they are literally side by side like they were the first time. I've never had this happen. I'm very curious if any of you in the comments have had that happen, so let me know if you have. Because this might be one of the craziest things I have ever had happen. This is just an absurd thing to see happening. And I think it's, uh, I think it's about time we attempt to get this thing down. Let's go ahead and switch scopes to the Argus. And see if we can get it. This is probably a bad idea, but let's go for it. Yep, it was a bad idea because we hit the rock in front of it. And we somehow saved it! Oh my gosh, I can't believe we actually made that shot! We have not had the best luck with making shots on ducks with this update. They're just incredibly difficult to hit now. But we somehow made that one. And there is the uh, goose that unfortunately met its demise due to moving its neck in front of that level 5. However, we will get revenge and take down that level 5 as quickly as we can. But for now, we've got ourselves something else that we need to go pick up. You know, as strange as it may sound, I'm actually a little bit disappointed that I ended up finding these two random diamonds because I was planning to make a video today talking about something else like the raccoon dogs since we haven't really covered them and I also wanted to cover something else that I discovered on Tiawaroa. But now we've got these diamonds to uh, take down instead, which is definitely a good thing to find. Like, I'm happy to find the diamonds. But uh, now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for this video. Well, there is our little tufted duck. Now, we honestly just can't get away from uh, the tufted geese and the gray la- or the tufted ducks and the gray lag geese. It seems like they are the ones that we have been finding the most. And that's a much smaller one than the last one, 9.80.30, or uh, 980.30. Definitely way smaller than the last one, but still really cool. You know, we're gonna have an entire lodge filled with just ducks and geese by the time this update has been out for like a month. It's going to be really cool to see a, a large variety of different fowl species in the lodges. And I'm thinking about making a bird lodge. Now, let me know if you guys want to see that because I think it could be cool making a bird lodge because now with the amount of birds in the game, we could totally do that. And I'd definitely be down to try and build like a, a bird lodge that would have pretty much every species of bird in it with all the rares and diamonds. I think that would be a cool little project. And it would also give us a reason to use the Spring Creek Manor over Sasiki Safari, so I think that's something we might end up doing. Let me know if you guys want to see that because I would definitely be down to make it. There we go. There's the level 5. It's about time we got it back. And I think we can actually take it out with the shotgun this time because we are in our blind already, which means we won't have to try and race over here and attempt not to spook it. So I do want to try something interesting though. I have noticed that you can hit things very far away with the bird shot. So we're going to try a much farther shot than what I normally would. Now, this might be risky. It's probably a bad idea. We're going to attempt it just to uh, do something a little bit different. And this guy is uh, roughly like 86 away, it looks like. I believe we can make that shot. I think we can make it. Well, here goes nothing. If this fails, then... Well, we know what to do. 22 Hornets. Oh my gosh, it worked. It actually worked. That is insane. Now, I have noticed there is some weird thing that happens if you try to run up close to them while they're still alive. But we are going to try to finish it off real quick if we can. Just try to, to get a couple shots into it. All right, I think it should be good now. Basically what I was uh, attempting to say there, but I explained it terribly, is I have noticed that on rare occasions, when you shoot a goose from far away with Birdshot or the 22 Hornet, and it doesn't die instantly and it starts dying super slow, I have had a couple of them despawn if I run up to them before they die. I don't know why that happens, 
But if you guys end up downing one of these things and it doesn't die immediately and it's still alive just laying on the ground, don't run up to it until it's dead because I have noticed that there might be something that is causing them to despawn. But as long as you don't run up to them after you shoot them and they're like still alive on the ground, then you should be okay. But let's go ahead and see. Is this one going to be a diamond? It's a diamond. 3.80 which I'm assuming that that's probably like 3.89 because obviously it doesn't actually show the last decimal. A lot of people were confused about that. It'll always be rounded down in the harvest screen. And then when you go in the lodge, it'll show the true score of it. And so I'm assuming it's like 3.89 or 3.87. We will take a look at that in the lodge though, just to show you guys. But uh, there's the second shot with the 22 Hornet to finish it off. Interesting, very interesting. And then we have the first one, which was four hits from the 12 gauge at 96 meters, which is kind of crazy. Like that's a very long range for a shotgun. However, this may be the most graceful position a gray lag goose has ever been shot in. I got to say that is that is gold. I absolutely love the way this thing died.